Do you want to boost your Google Shopping conversion rates in just a few clicks? Well, there's a new and simple setting inside Google Merchant Center that lets you send people straight from Google Shopping directly into your checkout page. So no more forcing shoppers to click through your product page, make selections and do all that stuff first. Now, if someone's ready to buy, this lets them do it immediately. They can literally click the buy now button on the ad, go straight to your checkout. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up step by step so that you can benefit from a nice conversion rate boost by sending traffic straight from Google Shopping to your checkout. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Daryl and for over 10 years now, I've run a Google Ads agency called Bigflare. On this channel, I share Google Ads strategies that help you grow your e-commerce business with a sky high return on ad spend. All right, let's dive into a step-by-step -step tutorial first, and then I'll talk about some of the other setup options and what channels this strategy really works on. All right, guys, so to set this up, you're going to want to be inside your Google Merchant Center account, and then you're gonna to want to come down here to the business info section. When you click on business info, you are going to see this box down here that says checkout. Click here to edit your checkout settings. Now, when you first come in here, you'll probably see it's selected on don't include a URL to your cart or checkout page. So you want to punch in this button here to do include a URL to your cart or checkout page. And what this is going to do is it's going to apply this URL template across your entire account. So click this button here to show it in free listings. Click this button here to show it in ads. We want this showing all over the place. And then now what you want to do is put in the checkout URL template that works for your checkout, uh, for your e-commerce software, right? So I'm gonna show you for Shopify as an example. Uh, so if you are running Shopify, then you can use this exact URL template. So replace the your store bit with your store and then the rest of the template you can use exactly as is this is a checkout template where you put it into google and then google's going to take this id here and substitute in your id from its feed so the id that you have in google ads your product id in google ads needs to match your variant id on your store or in shopify and then this template uh, will have the id field substituted for your variant id by google and then it will send the traffic directly to the cart with that product for that id added into the cart so let me let me just show you how it works right so if you are shopify you can just take this exact template copy and paste it into Google Merchant Center. If you're using Magento or WooCommerce or some other platform, you're going to need to find the uh, template link that works for that platform. This is the template link that works specifically for Shopify. Uh, so replace your store with your actual store. So let's go closet. There we go. And then what you can do is hit this button here to test the URL structure. What it's going to do is it's going to pick a random item from your feed, substitute in the ID, and then go to that URL so that you can check it's actually working. So you click this button here, right? And then the page loads. And as you can see here, it has loaded the page correctly. It has put in the item into the cart and I'm now in the checkout. So that's all good. This template is working. If you have issues with this, if you click to test and it doesn't work, then first of all, double check your template uh, and then double check that your item IDs, your product ID in Google Merchant Center is actually matching your variant ID in Shopify. And if it's not the case, if the IDs don't match, then what you can also do is just take out the URL here. Uh, this URL will apply the template at the account level, so it goes across all your products. Now, if for uh, some reason the account-wide template isn't working, you can just take it out here, and then what you need to do instead is to add the URL at the product level. So what you can do is add this attribute in your product feed. So any good product feed app will allow you to customize the feed and customize specific attributes within the feed. So there's an attribute within your feed called checkout link template. Now, if the account level checkout link template doesn't work for you, you're going to need to provide an individual checkout link for each product 
at the product level within the feed. It's a bit more complicated to set up and it's different depending on which product feed app you are using. So I'm not gonna walk through the whole process for you here because everyone's using a different app, but just so you know, if this URL in here didn't work, then uh, you're probably going to need to customize it at the product level. But for me, this is working, so we're gonna click save and then uh, jobs are good and as we do, as we say in the UK, that one is done. Now let's talk quickly about where this checkout feature actually works and where it doesn't. As of today, it's supported in three key areas. Free shopping listings. So these appear in the shopping tab and don't cost you anything. So they're a great bonus if you've already got your feed set up. Performance Max display placements. So this is where it gets interesting for e-commerce. When Performance Max is showing display ads, it's often showing them to people who have already been to your site. So basically focusing on retargeted traffic. And finally, demand gen campaigns. This is a newer campaign type focused on driving action with visual ads, whether that's video or display banners. And yes, the checkout feature is working here too. Right now, this feature is not yet supported on paid shopping ads placements. So that includes both standard shopping ads and the shopping placements within Performance Max. It is just the free listings in shopping ads and then Performance Max display and then demands gen as well that this actually works for. But that's okay because this does work for your free shopping listings and the retargeting traffic that you're getting within your Performance Max campaigns. So when people are coming through those traffic sources, you're getting a conversion rate boost by offering users the option to check out right away by clicking the buy now button that pops up on their ad. This is especially useful when it comes to that retargeted traffic within Performance Max, because those retargeted users are by definition people who already know you and are familiar with your products. So showing the buy now link on ads to those users and allowing them to progress straight to checkout is powerful. So even if it's not available everywhere just yet, this is still a really smart way to boost your conversions, especially from your warmest traffic. And if you're looking for more optimization strategies on your standard shopping ads or your performance max ads, then you might want to check out this video right up here, where I walk you through a quick way to change one setting that boosts your revenue and profit. It's a really quick and high leverage optimization for your Google ads, and I think you'll get a lot of mileage out of it, so go check it out.